Patchwork Heart Ministry and Fiat Ministry Network invite you to discover your mission. Patchwork Heart Ministry and Fiat Ministry Network invite you to discover your mission. A brand new in-depth monthly video series featuring engaging Catholic speakers who will challenge you to live your life abundantly. For only $25 a month, you will receive a personal monthly mission, including three full-length inspirational talks that build upon a new theme each month. Sign up for the Discover Your Mission tier at patreon.com slash patchworkheartministry today. Hello, everyone. My name is Al Smith, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Hungry for More. And uh, you can see by my set, I'm ready for the Advent season, and I'm ready to go on a pilgrimage. And uh, today, we're going to talk to the director of the Advent pilgrimage, uh, Charbel Reich from Perusia Media. And uh, many of you remember me from the Rosary pilgrimage, and um, it was a great event. We had 40,000 um, pilgrims that prayed with us each day. And so we thought we'd do something similar, but do it with an Advent theme. So uh, looking forward to speaking with Charbel about the pilgrimage today. And so we're going to be begin with prayer as we always do. And I'll have our producer, Kent Kowalski, bring up on the screen a beautiful prayer invoking the intercession of St. Teresa of Avila and her timely wisdom. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Nothing is wanting to him who possesses God. God alone suffices. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember that. God alone suffices. With God, we can do all things. I want to bring onto the screen now my good friend all the way from Australia, uh, Charbel Race. He is the founder uh, and director of Perusia Media. And uh, Charbel, welcome back to Hungry for More. It's great to be with you, Alan. It's always a pleasure. Yes. And, you know, I think we've been collaborating now for the last few months, and uh, it always seems that we get invited to many of these uh, online retreats, these online um, conferences. And uh, again, it's amazing what the Lord is doing in your life and my life. But uh, who would ever think that COVID would, um, you know, come and turn the church a little bit upside down, but still the church has responded very well by offering these beautiful um, catechesis, these beautiful retreats, these beautiful conferences. And so people are still being fed. And this is uh, the beautiful thing about the pilgrimage that we're going to talk about today, the Advent pilgrimage. Uh, you're in the feeding business, I'd like to say. And um, I think you're going to be, again, uh, showing us the menu of what we can expect for the next four weeks as we journey from uh, November the 29th to December the 25th. So uh, tell our viewers at home a little bit about the Advent Pilgrimage, how it came about, and uh, a few um, things that we can expect over the next few weeks. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I, I have to say the name of your series here, Hungry for More, um, is just uh, spot on. People are hungry out there, and and we need people to be able to feed them with the truth and and it's spiritual food, spiritual nourishment we need to be able to, to bring to, to people. And, and thanks be to God, these pilgrimages virtually have been filling a need. And, and we're continuing because we're seeing the fruits. We're seeing the response and the impact it's having. And so thanks for everything you're doing and, and being a part of these. Um, but it's been such an amazing way to keep connected with people. But I'm very excited. We're only a couple of days away uh, no, on November 29. 
we will launch the very first video of a 27 day video series and it's going to go right up to Christmas Day. And it's um, a combination of a few different traditions. So the Jesse tree, which goes through salvation history, is going to be uh, one of the major parts of this pilgrimage where it will go from the 29th of uh, November up to the 16th of December. And we're going to be going from, from Eden uh, all the way up to Bethlehem. But in that first section, we're going to be focusing on Old Testament characters from Adam and Eve, uh, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the list goes on right up until Moses, David, and up to St. John the Baptist. And then once we've reached the New Testament, and then we, we sort of change gears. And just like liturgically, the church changes gears uh, on the 17th, uh, the O antiphons in the liturgical readings and responses, um, we are also changing gears and we're going to be honing in with the last Posadas tradition. And this is where Bill Snyder, a friend of yours, and who um, I met uh, just only a few months ago, actually, uh, had this idea of a nine day novena. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could bring these together, these two traditions. And, and my, I'm actually part Hispanic myself. I'm South American. My uh, father is from uh, Colombia in South America. And uh, so I do understand these traditions and it's quite beautiful, this idea of knocking on the door um, of people's homes, trying to relive or reenact what St. Joseph and Mary would have done back when they were looking for a place to stay. And, uh, and then on the ninth day, of course, there, there's uh, a person's home that's opened up for, for them to come in and there's a big celebration as well. So there's these, these meditations um, that Bill Snyder's come up with and, and has managed to find nine different people to give a meditation on different themes. You're one of them. And there on the screen is the, um, the booklet, uh, Las Posadas, a contemplative Las Posadas. And what I love uh, with what he's done is uh, he's really drawn out the themes from the, the traditional hymn and, and, and created these meditations that are, that are quite relevant to today. You know, things on suffering, things on mercy, um, all, 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 these, all these different things of, uh, that, that really are relevant to us um, in our busyness, you know, a, a time for peace, a time to rest all these all these themes that are drawn out from from the the tradition of the last posada which is spanish basically for uh the little inn or the, the little hotel there's no room in the inn and that's the theme that uh we're picking up there in the novena so yeah we, we, we said instead of a journey from jerusalem to bethlehem we said why not make it a journey from eden all the way from adam and eve all the way up to to bethlehem and so it's now a drawn out um journey and very exciting because what people will see is a big picture of scripture and how jesus christ was prophesied from the very beginning right at the start in, in uh, genesis chapter 3 verse 15 the woman and the son the seed of the woman and so that we know that that's mary and jesus and look out for these these gems that you're going to learn from these bible scholars i'm, I'm very excited for what's uh, about to take place yes and uh, i know with the rosary pilgrimage uh when you had Dr. Scott Hahn unpackaging the scriptures, Steve Ray unpackaging the scriptures, Dr. Bergsma unpackaging the scripture, uh, Dr. Ed Shree unpackaging this stuff, you're bringing many of those speakers back. Uh, and I'm just, I, I can't wait to hear their reflections on the scriptures because they're passionate. They, um, I, I like to say I'm a part-timer <laughs> sometimes <laughs> with uh, the scriptures and that I, I love reading my scriptures, but uh, these men have dedicated their lives to studying the scriptures and they just see it with great clarity and uh, the lessons they gave in the last pilgrimage were just so powerful. I just can't believe that they're coming back again and I can't wait to hear mm -hmm. these video productions uh, that uh, I know they're short and concise, but um, I'm sure that I'll be able to connect the dots from Eden to Bethlehem after uh, listening to these presenters. So uh, give us a little taste of some of the presenters uh, because there's a variety. I, uh, there's some really well-known names and there's some lesser known names, but uh, they all still have a gift to bring to the table. And uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about the lineup and uh, some of the talks they'll be given. Sure, thank you. Uh, so a wide variety of speakers from all over the world, really. You've got Australian speakers, uh, there's a Filipino uh, speaker, there's uh, Americans, Canadians, um, and, and really coming together um, for, for this one cause and, and some household names, some people may know, know Dr. Matthew Lennon kickstarts the whole journey. And he's um, 
from uh, Next Level Catholic Academy. He used to work with St. Paul Center alongside Scott Hahn. He is a convert to the faith himself, and he's a Bible scholar in his own right. Um, he's got an amazing series on scripture, but he's going to be kicking uh, the ho- kickstarting the whole pilgrimage with the creation story and making a link to how we are a new creation in Christ. And so this beautiful Old and New Testament um, comparison. Um, once he sets the stage with the creation story, the next day is uh, Dr. Edward Shree, who goes into Adam and Eve and then original sin and, and how sin came into the world and um, looking at, at, at that. Then, then, of course, it goes on to Dr. John Bergsma, who will be looking at Noah um, and that whole story there. And then it goes on to Steve Ray on Abraham. And, and then Steve Ray, he does an amazing job. He's been actually to the, the places that Abraham actually walked. Um, and then you go on to Isaac, and that's Robert Haddad, Dr. Robert Haddad from Australia, uh, one, of our, one of our best apologists in this country. And then you go uh, to Jacob, with Dr. Um, uh, Michael Barber from the Augustan Institute uh, joining us. And then we've got um, Moses, is Deacon Peter Pelican, a former Pentecostal pastor. We've got um, St. Joseph of the Old Testament as well from Thomas. And the list goes on. I mean, we, we go up to uh, King David with Sonia Corbett, and we've even got Jeff Cavins himself, uh, the Bible timeline guru, uh, who actually had prepared a, a timeline map from, from Adam to Jesus following the bloodline of Christ. So he's uh, opted for Mary. So he's going to be talking about Our Lady uh, as we reach the New Testament here. Um, and we've got a couple of other local locals uh, doing prophets, uh, Deacon Harold Burke Sivers on Esther, we've got uh, Doc, Father um, Edward Looney on... Uh, on Zephaniah. Um, so there's some interesting prophecies and, and symbols and typology in the Old Testament pointing towards the new. And uh, we're, we're going to see some eye-opening stuff here that the, the Old Testament wasn't just written for a people at the time, but it was for us today. And we're going to learn quite a bit of, of the strong connections. Um, as we get up to St. John the Baptist and, and Father Flada, John Flada will, will, will do that meditation. Uh, that then ends the the first section and then we transition into the nine day novena and bill snyder himself will do the first meditation and he'll be also given a bit of a background of what the las posadas uh, novena is um, drawing from the themes in his booklet and then of course it goes into all these amazing speakers which i have the privilege now to discover for the first time people like john paul a musician and convert to the faith who actually wrote a theme song um, uh, let him in and it's quite beautiful uh, how he's put that together and he, he drinks in he, he comes in Penny Warner who I didn't know uh, prior and now I'm learning about these stories and they're just phenomenal stories um, Gary Zemak um, Anne DeSantis which I understand she's a regular and a partner of of the Fiat ministry so I've seen her uh, with many um, episodes there she's she's involved uh, Shauna um, Arnold uh, she's a lighthouse speaker she's got a great CD in the lighthouse range her story is amazing. She's drawing in. So there's just a wide variety, uh, a variety of speakers. Um, Man Rentor, yourself, um, Alan, and drawing from the wisdom of Archbishop Fulton Sheen and, um, and, 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 and blending in uh, the tradition. It's a great premeditation what you've done. And so I've had the privilege to sort of see these ahead of time. They're all pre-recorded and they'll be released each day, um, a new video each day. Um, and so, yeah, get ready. People are going to learn a lot from this whole pilgrimage. Yes. You know, and I think what um, I say to people, don't be afraid of the Old Testament. I know a lot of people get hung up and they say, oh, I'm, I'm comfortable with the New Testament. I, it's the stories I can relate to. And uh, I don't like connecting the dots and how, you know, the new fulfills the old. And, and I think when you break down the Bible, uh, this much is the Old Testament and this much is the New Testament. So it's an easier read. And many of us are given New Testaments when we are, um, you know, receive our first Holy Communion. And uh, of course, we be, that's what we're familiar with. But still, I mean, when I listen to these stories and I listen to these speakers, um, our God is a show off. He really is. It's, it's so beautiful. And as you said earlier, this is for us. This is for us. It wasn't just for the people of old. It was for, it's for us today. And we see these great, uh, the ful- fulfillment of the prophecies. And uh, you see the hand of God on these people. And so, and his hand is upon us too. We have to remember that his hand is upon us. And um, one thing I'm looking forward to is that uh, this um, pilgrimage is something that uh, I think will 
uh, things that we'll be able to meditate on throughout the day. Um, I know many people had to um, learn some patience with the rosary pilgrimage because we're so used to uh, having uh, conferences delivered where they're in a short uh, you know, window of one or two days. But uh, we've had to train people to say, no, this is going to be for four weeks. You're going to journey for four weeks and really have an advent like no other. And I really love how your technology is uh, very user-friendly. I believe uh, every day the videos are delivered to your email or your inbox, and then you can watch them at your leisure. So uh, that's what I really enjoy about how Prusia delivers this conference is that uh, it's in bite-sized pieces. And again, um, it's, it's something where we don't have to be there at 10 a.m. We can come and visit in the evening if we want or uh, watch it early in the morning and then of course, meditate on that thought all day. So uh, again, let's let's talk a little bit about Perusia because um, again, you've been uh, really building a, a powerful network uh, of providing great resources. And the pilgrimage is only one of the many uh, events that you sponsor. And of course, I know that you are big on catechesis. And uh, today I was interviewing George Manessa and he is going to be launching his first book and it'll be with Perusia Publishing. And so um, I was very excited to see the work of Perusia just spreading its wings uh, all over Australia, but even farther. So uh, tell me a little bit about what's going on at Perusia and um, some of the, uh, I guess the um, new, um, I always say revised system in the sense that your your on-demand feature is getting better all the time, everything's happening. So uh, give us an update on Perusia. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Alan. Um, yeah, it, it's been amazing if you were to ask me at the beginning where I would have seen Perusia from day one. I, it, I, I may not have had a dream as big as where we are now. I mean, you, you'd like to think uh, you've reached the world and, and a lot of us say that and and if we break that down, that's 7 billion people. Can we reach 7 billion people? Um, is that possible? You know, can we do that? Can well, the, the aim of the game is salvation of souls. Um, how do we bring people in a relationship with, with Christ? And um, how do they deepen their faith, appreciate the church and, um, and really own it, make it their own. You know, when does Jesus become Lord of your life? And, and once he's there, how does that change the way you live and how does that impact society? So it's personal to me because I had that encounter with Christ so many years ago, the challenges on the faith, which exposed my lack of formation. Um, and, and so it is personal. I mean, I, I need to deepen my faith personally every day, thanks to my Islamic friends who challenged me and I didn't have the answers. And so when I started looking, I, I realized, wow, there's a wealth of knowledge out there. There's all this formation um, that's on offer. And some of the, some of these, dynamic speakers and presenters of the faith from Dr. Scott Hahn, Steve Ray, uh, from Father Mitch Pacwa, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, you know, the fact that he's recorded all those talks and we've got them available to watch. Thanks be to God. Um, so all these resources were made available and, and our, our goal is basically to just expose these, get them out to as many people as possible, find these powerful resources, the most effective we could find and represent them and package them to as many people as we can possibly reach and so it started off with cassettes and cds and then then dvds and now books and books are actually one of our fastest growing mediums funny enough in a digital age but now with the virtual side of things as the digital media um, mp3 downloads mp4 videos streaming the video on demand platform that's on the screen now perusia on demand which we're very excited about if it, i'd like to think of perusia on demand as a, as a combination of what you get on Netflix and iTunes. So if you look at um, on Apple, uh, you can purchase a video or rent a video, but you can't do that on Netflix. But what you can do on Netflix is stream the videos as a subscription. So what about if you could do both of them in the one platform? And that's what Perusia On Demand is, is offering. You not only can stream for a simple monthly um, fee, $10 a month, that's Australian and Canadian, like similar, we're very similar in our dollar value. It, US dollars, it's about seven US dollars a month um you get access to all the videos and there's hundreds of them going up every every week there seems to be new content <laughs> we're finding and and uh, and contributing to this platform so we're, we're well and truly in the hundreds of video series um but you can also pick and select what you want if you just want to do a one-off 
uh, selection you could rent. <laughs> so it's only a couple of dollars. You could watch something there for, for 48 hours, or if you could purchase it, download it and own it. And that's only as little as five or six or $7 one-off payment. And, um, and that's it. Or you pay monthly and you get access to everything. And, and that includes all future events that we put on. So, so we had the rosary pilgrimage with over 60 videos and people who are on the subscription model actually get access to all that. And those in the advent pilgrimage will get that as well. So if they're subscribing $10 a month, they actually are getting absolutely everything we offer um, through that. And so it's a, it's just a low, simple fee by doing that a little bit from as many people as possible can go a long way. And that's what we're hoping uh, to, to do here. And it's our, the relationships built over the years, I think, um, has helped us get to this position, building the body of Christ on earth. Um, we are all one body. And, and St. Paul's message here rings, rings strongly when he talks about the body of Christ and how some of the hands, some of the feet, some of the eyes, and can the head say to the foot, you know, <laughs> go away from me. Uh, he, it all plays a part. And so um, we are all part of this body of Christ. And we want to come together with all those who are wanting to be uh, in the harvest. The harvest is plentiful but the labor is a few, as Jesus says, we need to be able to team up and work with as many people. So it's collaboration is, is key to, I think our success, if you want to call it that. Um, but uh, it, it's important that it's not my will, but it's thy will. It's just, it's, it's God's and, and whatever he wants. Um, and thanks be to God, you know, just YouTube alone, there's, you know, 800,000 views there and it's climbing. And um, I'd, I'll invite people to subscribe. There's free videos there. Um, Facebook, you know, the, at this stage, it's 27,000 followers, but love that to grow. Um, and there's people all over the world there. And, and then of course, just our website, just every day, the amount of visitors that are coming. So the internet has allowed us to reach um, the globe and with over 116 countries now that has been reached by this work, I can't help but think this is not my my work. This is, this is God's work. And um, I pray that this continues to bear fruit. And as long as it's bearing fruit, we'll continue. We'll keep going. And so I, my dream is that as many people around the world will fall in love with Christ, his church and become saints. And uh, yeah, let, let's, let's, let's save our soul. What more is there? If you don't save your soul, as you, you've said in the past, yeah. um, you've saved nothing. So I love that. Yeah. And that's yeah. so powerful. Yeah. The, the, the quote is, unless souls are saved, nothing is saved. Yes. <laughs> it is so true. It's, um, it's sobering. It's very sobering. And, you know, I, I've been wrestling with a number of people over the last few weeks. And, um, you know, it's that time where you're starting to, uh, I've been starting to beg, of course, because I'm on radio. So uh, the radio stations that I, um, I'm on, you know, it's their annual appeal. They're, they're saying, okay, you got to ask for a donation because this is our time, you know, and everybody's asking for a donation. So, you know, on the uh, two stations I'm on, I'm constantly begging, constantly asking for money. And I got into a, an argument, or I shouldn't say an argument, but let's just say a heated discussion with one of my friends about giving to charity. And um, again, I guess I kind of caught him, um, you know, I made him stop in his tracks because, you know, he, I said, listen, I'm only asking for $10 a month in that, uh, you know, could you set aside $10 a month for uh, this radio station? And I know that uh, you had mentioned uh, Perusia On Demand's $10 a month. So I said, you know, I'm proposing $10 a month towards the radio station. And um, he said, well, that's a lot of money. And I said, relative to what? I said, um, you know, everybody loves hockey in Canada. And I'm sure in mm -hmm. Australia, it's footy <laughs> or whatever. Right. Um, but, you know, a pair of tickets to a game um, is 200 400 800 dollars depending on where you're sitting um and i said you know no one seems to have a problem of paying 500 dollars to go to a hockey game and no one has a problem paying 300 to a thousand dollars a year for your gym membership and i said you know you all have a gym membership right and they're kind of going yeah you're right and i said oh so spending a thousand dollars a year on your fitness is important but not spending anything on your faith oh i see where your priorities are and so i think that conversation kind of ended abruptly but i think uh, i sent i made my point <laughs> i made my point how often are we really putting uh, our priorities in the right spot to say i need to invest in my faith i need to buy a few holy books 
I need to have some Bishop Sheen in my own library. You know, I need to, and it's true, like those little missiles, all of that stuff. We need to invest in holy books and uh, get our priorities right. So um, I think I think you mentioned to it last time you were on in my program, Charbel, about the urgency to say, let's let's be real with ourselves. Let's be real. Are we setting aside some of our time, talent, and treasure to give back to God, to give back to the church, and um, and go to sleep at night with a good conscience, a clear conscience. So uh, again, that's very affordable. Of course, Peruzzi on demand at $10 a month for what you're offering. So uh, bravo for what you've done there. Bravo. Um, we're going to take you. a short break and we're going to come back and uh, we got to pay our bills. We're going to run our commercials, uh, but I'd ask everybody to stay tuned for Hungry for More. And we'll talk a little bit more about the Advent pilgrimage with my guest, Charbel Race from Perusia Media. Hey everyone, it's Anne DeSantis here to tell you about my new online TV show called Journeys in Faith. Thanks to Fiat Ministry Network and Patchwork Heart Radio, I'll be interviewing some amazing guests who'll share with all of us their journeys in faith. It's going to be great, and I can't wait for you to be introduced to some truly good people who are working hard to bring deeper faith to others. It's all about relationship with God and living out our mission as intentional disciples. Join me on Fridays, Eastern Time, for Journeys in Faith, 8.30 to 9.30. Subscribe at Fiat Ministry Network and Patchwork Heart Ministry on both Facebook and YouTube. I'll see you Friday and have a great week. God bless. Patchwork Heart Ministry and Fiat Ministry Network invite you to discover your mission. A brand new in-depth monthly video series featuring engaging Catholic speakers who will challenge you to live your life abundantly. For only $25 a month, you will receive a personal monthly mission, including three full-length inspirational talks that build upon a new theme each month. Sign up for the Discover Your Mission tier at patreon.com slash patchworkheartministry today. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Hungry for More. I have in the house today my good friend Charbel Reich from Australia, uh, Perusia Media, and we've been talking about uh, the Advent pilgrimage that's coming up in a few days. Uh, and again, it's running from November 29th to December 25th. And we were talking about some of the world-class speakers that will be appearing and kind of the program, but I think we just had a bit of an overview, but I know there's some other stuff that um, we didn't give you all the goods and there's some surprises and some extra bonus things that are going to happen. So uh, Charbel, give us uh, again, um, kind of a a play-by-play of what we can expect. I know we were talking earlier about having the videos delivered uh, to our inbox, but I'm sure there'll be uh, some bonus uh, videos. There'll be some presenters, some music. Uh, this is Christmas, right? This is Advent. Yes. So I'm expecting more than just 27 talks. So uh, give us a little idea of what else is uh, on the menu for the four-week program. Absolutely. Thank you, Alan. Um, so what we've done, I've just made public today as we speak, uh, the welcome video. So there's a welcome video that Bill Snyder and myself have recorded. It goes for about 22 minutes. It's just us uh, letting people know what to expect, how we came together, where this concept come from, and it's welcoming pilgrims. So everyone who's already on our platform would have gotten a little notification about that today, um, and that's in their inbox. They click on that and they watch that, but they're already in the Perusia world, if you like. So that's the place where all the videos will be housed. Now, um, that's for all the pre-recorded videos, but there's also some surprises like live shows. Um, and so we've got um, the liturgy guys coming on and they're kind of come on and talk about the season of Advent and liturgically, what's all that? Because there are four weeks in Advent. There are the different themes, the colours um, and the readings that we, we, we hear at Mass. So they're going to explain all of the different traditions uh, liturgically. And so that's, I think that's quite important for Catholics to understand what's going on. It's not the end of the liturgical season. It's actually the start. And so we, we need to just get our head around the calendar and, and what that means. Um, the other thing is uh, we've got other, other uh, great popular speakers, Jason Everett, uh, no stranger, who's given talks to millions of young people around the world about the, the message of chastity. He's got a brand new book um, called Forged. He's co-written with uh, Matt Fred. We're going to talk about... Uh, about the brand new release and also 
just this time of year, what it means to him and, and, and what he does as a family. And, and so people can see that uh, that's in week two. And then the third week, what Joelle Marin, this is a, a former fashion model. Uh, she found Christ in a radical way. Um, and tragically, she, she lost a, a sister in, in the season of Advent. She's going to talk about that loss. And, and so she's now found Christ and a, a new relationship with God through this tragedy. And it, she's a new creation. And so Joelle um, is on fire for the Lord. And she's going to be sharing her testimony um, in week three of the pilgrimage. And then that final week, uh, we've got um, a few shows planned. So there's actually going to be just a handful of different speakers and I'm not going to let too much out of the bag, but because I want to surprise people, there's, there's quite a few names that you may be familiar with, but um, that'll be in the final week, um, so days before Christmas. And so when are these on? These are going to be on Wednesday morning, Sydney time, which is Tuesday afternoon, um, US time. So uh, Eastern time. So if you're in New York on the East, on the east Coast of the United States, um, about 4 p.m. on a Tuesday, 4 p.m. on a Tuesday, the, these shows will go live and they'll stay up there. It's going to be on Facebook. We'll have them also um, eventually up on, on YouTube and we'll also have them in the video on demand platform. So if you don't have any of those other social media platforms, don't worry. They will be uploaded to the Perusia on demand platform the next day. So we're going to be on all the different areas so no one misses a thing. And uh, you can get, in, get on live if you can. And uh, we're also going to launch our own mighty network on the back of this. So what is a mighty network? It is an alternative platform to social media. And so we're calling it Perusia world. Um, so I'm sort of giving everyone a, a sneak peek at what's going on here, but I was going to announce this at the first live show, but I'll, I'll announce it to your viewers for the first time, but we have a, a, a brand new platform that we are launching um, throughout this pilgrimage. And what we hope that beyond once the pilgrimage is over, that people can stay connected and, 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 be together so many people are leaving uh, these social media platforms um they've been uh, generally uh, hostile to the christian message or, or, or been filtering things in, in in many places or um certain uh, po political views are, are, are silenced but th there's these other platforms that just i, I guess it, it it's a place for catholics to come together so our friends at smart catholics have launched uh their network and it's quite interesting it's what i find is that's been doing a great job giving a, a platform for many unknown speakers. And I've discovered people for the first time in my life through the Smart Catholics Network. Um, in the Perusia world, what you'll see is all of our partners and all their work. So the difference will be, uh, it, it's almost like just an alternative, literally an alternative to a Facebook fan page. You'll see that in this network and people can continue to communicate, uh, advertise what they're doing, promote. We want to make sure that Whatever is happening in the church is being promoted in this in this Perusia World platform, and uh, we want to expose as much uh, of the good work out there as possible. So that's very exciting. That's going to be launched, and we hope that lives on. And then in the future events, they'll all just be in this one place, um, and people will just get familiar with the platform. And hopefully, that that has a has a big impact. Um, finally, the emails. So the notifications. Uh, what will happen is. A simple notification when the video is released you just get in your inbox video is now ready it'll have the um, name of the the video click on it and it'll take you to the the video you just watch it every day you can comment on there so i encourage people to comment it does encourage the speakers and 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 it encourages also the community those people who are participating and i invite you all to pray as well treat this as a spiritual journey um, we will have a downloadable booklet now, this booklet is more of a workbook than a prayer book, um, and so it's a place to take notes. But we will be referencing the daily readings at Mass. So I encourage everyone, one little challenge is look at those Bible references. So if you're not a Catholic and you're watching this or, or participating, grab your Bible and follow along because the references are taken straight out of the, um, the liturgical calendar, and the daily readings would have an Old Testament reading, typically Isaiah, a psalm and then a new testament of the gospel and so every day there'll be that challenge it'll take you five minutes maybe 10 minutes um to read those scripture passages and really reflect on those throughout the day just to stay in unity with the liturgical season the church as a whole and that's what makes us catholics right we're united in christ as one body and if we do that i think uh 
it could be very powerful. So that's a little challenge during this um, Advent pilgrimage. And I'll be reiterating that again in the, in the first live show of the pilgrimage. Right. I really like this idea of the mighty network. And, um, yes. you know, I've been on social media for a long time. And, uh, of course, uh, people are all starting to complain, as you say, about Twitter, Facebook. Um, a lot of these, um, I just want to say, forums are tainted. And uh, my experience with Mighty Networks is that you get to network uh, with like-minded people. Um, it's it, it's kind of like the filters are in place. It's beautiful. Um, mm. I know that, uh, again, I'm a member of a couple Mighty Networks. And uh, again, I go in, I interact. I know with uh, your Mighty Network that you're going to launch uh, during this pilgrimage, um, I've got a Bishop Sheen um, uh, you know, section in the Mighty Network so that I'll be able to offer people uh, Bishop Sheen resources, uh, video presentations I've made, uh, some online uh, presentations of Fulton Sheen. I'll kind of be the Bishop Sheen go-to guy and I'll be able to give you all the links um, for all the Bishop Sheen materials. And that's what I do. That's what, that's, they call me the Sheen machine. Some people call me the Sheen machine, you know, I don't know why, but uh, it's because I'm always thinking about Sheen, always sharing Sheen. And I kind of know where all of his things are. So I have kind of a Bishop Sheen group in your mighty network. And so uh, when people come and join the Perusia World Mighty Network, uh, they'll find the Bishop Sheen uh, section and I'll be there just giving up as much as I can of Bishop Sheen. So, but it, again, it's a nice community, uh, you know, like-minded people. Um, and again, this is what I like is that, you know, sometimes Facebook pages get hijacked. <laughs> they get hijacked. Uh, not, and I, you know, we watched the Rosary Pilgrimage uh, Facebook page. It was beautiful. There, people were posting rosaries and beautiful yes. uh, pictures of saints. Uh, but there was always that one guy that was, you know, uh, dumping a story about something happening over in Bosnia or what, I don't know. But I mean, just let's say it wasn't appropriate. So I think that's sometimes the problem with some of these uh, Facebook pages is that they can go sideways. But uh, I know that the Mighty Networks keep on point. They actually, um, you know, it's a good environment. So uh, bravo yes. for what you're doing there and setting that up. So that's great. All Thank right. You. So, Thank you for participating. Oh, you're welcome. Um, you know, I listen, I'm working to save souls. I mean, that's my, unless souls are saved, nothing is saved. Uh, Amen. You know, if I got to talk the talk, I got to walk the walk. So want to do that. Now, again, I'm going to ask Kent to bring up on the screen again, the website, because I think what people... Uh, sometimes think is they always say, where do I sign up? Where do I yeah. sign up? Or it's very simple. I mean, it's just you visit the Perusia media website or type in Advent pilgrimage. And uh, usually the um, page comes up and it's just simply as putting in your email address and clicking the link and it will, they send you a welcome page and away you go. So um, you're in. So it's not like That's you fine. have to get a password, a secret code or anything like that. Um, you know, I think it's pretty simple, simple instructions. So uh, you can see again, and beautiful artwork. I love the picture of the camels and the three kings and um, how you're going to get us to think about some of these themes. And uh, this, this novena, this uh, Las Posadas um, really has me interested because um, I've been doing Christmas reflections of Fulton Sheen's writings, and he talks a lot about the innkeeper, and mm. uh, we're the innkeepers, and many times, sadly, we turn the Lord away, we turn him away, uh, he comes knocking at the door, St. Joseph, our Lord, our Lady, and we send them on, you know, and so uh, I think there's something, we want to be like the shepherds, we want to be like the three wise men, but I, I love this idea of doing a novena, it's so Catholic. It's so Catholic to do novena. So uh, looking forward to that. And I know that I'm giving the eighth reflection of the nine day novena, and it's going to be on the topic of intolerance. And um, of course, Fulton Sheen wrote a great deal about intolerance. Um, but uh, I always think of how God tolerates us. He puts up, puts up with us miserable sinners. But uh, again, that'll be my contribution to the pilgrimage. But um, again, I am looking forward to this great event. And I think you were mentioning you have uh, 40,000 and that number seems to be growing every day. And we're probably expecting 50,000 pilgrims. Am I right on that? 
Please God, yeah. So we, we, we're, we're well over 40 now. Um, we, we're closing in on 45. Uh, we hope to hit 50 by by the first week of this pilgrimage. So it's not so late. It is completely free, and they just have to go to perusiamedia.com. As you said, it's as simple as your first name, uh, just your first name, and then your email, press submit, and done. It autom- is an automatic responder that sends you a welcome email, and it just gives you instructions of what to expect um, right there. So please share it far and wide. Um, there's no need for a credit card. There's no need for any payments or things like that. There's no long forms to fill out. It's just simply your name and email. And that's it. And if people do that, they're inside and, and I'll enjoy the pilgrimage. Yes. And, and I will tell people, honestly, um, I know I've attended many conferences and sometimes people will say, you know, I love the conference boy, but the emails I got after, uh, you know, I can to honestly say that uh, your pilgrimage is uh, just send me the videos. There's not like I say uh, 20 ads or anything like that. It's just pure catechesis and i commend you on that that you um you know you just deliver the goods and uh i can tell you personally my friends that are watching um you will enjoy what comes into your inbox every day during these pilgrimages so uh, again looking Thank forward you. to this so uh again spend some time on the website scroll down i love seeing the pictures i know you've only added half of them like um again people keep adding to the lineup uh you know by the time the pilgrimage starts you'll have the pictures of so many of the speakers and um, and I've been watching on YouTube, your YouTube channel. And uh, again, very impressed uh, the amount of people that visit uh, the Perusia YouTube channel and you have the little one minute, two minute uh, video clips of many of these speakers inviting everybody to come and join them uh, for the Advent pilgrimage. So uh, this is good. Uh, again, I encourage everyone to visit uh, the Perusia website, the main website, and you just start to see how uh, I always kind of was looking when I first met you and thinking, Australia, <laughs> Australia, what, what, that's a little country. I mean, it's a big country, but there's not a lot of people in Australia. But when I started to see how many international speakers have come to uh, partner with you and to pr- spread the gospel, uh, I feel at home. I feel at home. Like <laughs> when I visit your website, I go, hey, those people, those names I, I know and love they're there in the Perusia family. And so I'm happy to be a part of the family too. And um, again, it's just a blessing that uh, it is an international apostolate. And I was mentioning to somebody they were in- interested in your publishing uh, wing, that you have an on-demand publishing uh, because you've been carrying many uh, good uh, titles from various authors and uh, you have uh, arrangements with many publishers that uh, you can print on demand. And so you can print on demand in Australia, the Philippines, I believe in the, the UK and it cover yeah. Europe. And even I believe uh, you have some people in America. So yes. uh, the, what I see your, your reach is that this printing on demand is uh, making it very easy for people to get good books uh, into their homes at a, an affordable price. Uh, Cause we know how expensive international shipping can be. So um, tell us a little bit about the, the printing uh, side of this, because I think people are starting to come around to reading now. They've, I'm not saying they're overdosing on videos. And uh, I know that we've been watching a lot of videos because of COVID, but I think there's more and more people saying, I just want to read a good book mm-hmm. and they're making time to spend uh, you know, uh, you know, some people say cuddle up with a good book, but I think people are just saying, I want to just, uh, again, have quiet time, do some spiritual reading with some good authors, some good titles. And so, um, again, I'm very interested. Tell us a little bit about this on demand, print on demand side of Perusia. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, it is uh, definitely um, brand new for us. So we've been We've been reprinting books for many years, so licensing from the states, uh, finding a local printer, printing like a thousand at a time, uh, and then you you got to you got to basically store them and then get them out. And so uh, you know once you you can do that for a couple of titles, but once you start getting to a few dozen titles and then 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 fifty titles, it, it just gets quite costly because you're sitting on all this stock, and you may sell ten percent of them. Uh, but you're sitting on 90% of them, and so a lot of money's tied up in it, um, and it, it can it can be dangerous because you're sitting on that, and they could be prone to damage over years and things like that. And so it wouldn't be great if we could print on demand, um, just so we're 
we free up the cash flow a bit and, and let it let it um, let spend the money in the marketing or, or getting it out there and 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 increase the range of books rather than just the quantity of them. And um, thanks to our partnerships, it's allowed us to get the the these PDFs from from the publisher locally uh, uh, print them in in any region. So even in the states, um, we we're able to do that. So it eliminates international shipping. So if we get an order for a particular book that we have rights to, we can and that we're allowed to print in the states with, we will just ship it from there. And it it's a local shipping cost. It's not an international shipping cost. Um, and so this is all new for 2020. And and so we've now published. Uh, well over a dozen books ourselves that are solely Perusia and uh, and we're starting to do more and more of that and so people are approaching us now as publishers and uh, this is uh, yeah this has been a great space for us to, to enter into and we're finding it's it's we've learning we're learning what has been the traditional form of publishing um, and what uh, has worked in the past what could be better and I'm trying to learn as an outsider in a sense learning from the, the, the these big publishing companies what has worked, what has not worked and trying to learn from any mistakes um, and making sure it's a win-win solution for the author, for the audience. So the prices are low that, you know, interesting how inflation increases prices for certain things. We're finding we're, we're trying to go the other way. We're trying to make sure that books become cheaper. And so you're not paying your, your, your 30, 40, $50 plus shipping. Uh, you want to try get it at, at, at around that 15, $20 mark. Um, if it's a book and, you don't want to be paying 30, 40, 50 because of um, exchange rates and things like that. And unfortunately we, we've been forced to do that in the past and bit by bit we're, we're sort of increasing the range to allow us to get it to a much affordable price. And yes. so uh, very exciting to see that books are becoming more popular. Like I said, it's the fastest growing um, format for us. It's, it's, it's more popular than CDs and DVDs and it's still more popular than the digital right now. Funny enough, um, uh, books people still want to own a book and um and and it gets your eyes off a screen for a while you, you sort of conflict with the pages you can write interact with it circle things highlight things um reread over it it's it's a different dynamic than than watching something and so uh, i think it's, it's it's people are rediscovering it we've had ebooks out for a while now and ebooks are great for instant access um but I guess when you're side by side to a book, I guess that that uh, hard printed version uh, does definitely win every time in my mind. Uh, just like the virtual conferences, uh, an actual conference always wins over a virtual. But the virtual, of course, is a way to connect and it's allowed us to connect with people. But uh, um, yeah, the books have been an amazing um, addition to our range. And I think God is opening up doors here for us that we're, we're walking through. And we hope to get your books uh, very soon, Alan, in this region. We are discussing now with uh, Sophia Press and, and trying to release some of the other ones that you've been been able to do. And thanks to Archbishop Fulton Sheen, who originally did these books, and now yourself to be able to re uh, sort of format them and make them uh, easier to read and, and fresh uh, to read to today. And uh, we're so excited about the possibilities now uh, more than ever. Yes, I know I'm working on my third book and I have my manuscript ready. It's just a matter of time now just to uh, dot some I's and cross some G's. It's going to be uh, Sheen's writings on marriage and the sacraments uh, because uh, everybody needs a good book on the sacraments, especially a good book on marriage. And so Sheen uh, wrote extensively on those topics. So it's uh, going to be nice to do that in the future. Uh, but uh, my first two books on the cross and on prayer have been doing very well. And uh, again, those are the, I found for myself uh, with Sheen's writings. I mean, he wrote close to 70 books. Uh, the ones that touched my heart were the ones on the cross because the power of the cross and uh, also the, the books that he wrote on prayer because again, we're all called to pray. It's something that uh, I think, you know, uh, as little children, we learn how to say our prayers. And as adults, we kind of lose our way sometimes. And so uh, I try to help people develop the holy habit of prayer. And uh, I have a great coach in Fulton Sheen, so uh, he makes it easy for me. So it's easy for me to give a reflection or two on prayer, uh, but to have a book that people can resource, uh, it's beautiful. So uh, thanks be to God, people still trust uh, these saints. And um, I think that's one thing I've learned too, is to always try to have a few good books that are written by the saints, because uh, they will not 
um, <laughs> steer you wrong. Uh, they will help you. They will help you on your journey to heaven. So again, uh, people are looking for books. And if they visit the website, the um, the Perusia Publishing, uh, you'll see Father Calloway's book, uh, many of those great titles. Your book is on there with, um, again, how uh, Islam brought you to Christ. And so, yes. uh, and again, people are still talking about that book. So it's nice to have the physical book. And if you can buy it at a good price, bravo. That's what we're all looking for is to make it affordable. And you're doing your part to do that. So thank you, Shabel, for developing your print on demand uh, side of Perusia. So, uh, well, God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Um, boy, our hour goes by so quickly and, uh, you know, I sometimes look at the clock and I'd say, oh boy, we're running out of time here. So um, any last words you want to say, you know, um, there's, you've got lots uh, that have been happening at Perusia, but um, still uh, by means, uh, if there's something on your heart, please share it with our audience. Sure. Thank you. I, I guess uh, the big push now, please uh, enter into Advent. Let's make this the best Advent ever. Uh, come in and uh, be a part of it. Now, there are many different uh, things you can do for Advent, and and there, there is quite quite a lot of options. Um, and why not? If you're called to doing more, you don't have to just do the uh, um, Advent pilgrimage. You could do that pilgrimage, watch a 15-minute video, and you can also do some of these other great Advent um, initiatives where, where it requires a bit of a reading uh, or an audio um, uh, exercise. And, and so really, when you think about 40, 24 hours a day, how are we filling our time? We can dedicate our time to prayer, to meditation um, and spiritual nourishment. And so there's no shortage of options out there. And I, I love embracing them, especially when they're free. Sign up and you just do what you can and, and, and you can share them. And there's always something um, in there that you will, you will learn that's new. So whether you're someone who has a theology degree, there's something for you. If you're someone who's just starting out and just really coming back to the faith, you're going to pick up some new things as well. So wh wh wherever you are on the spectrum spiritually, um, that you'll get, gain so much out of these um, these initiatives. And so obviously for us, I, I encourage people to sign up, go to perusiamedia.com uh, and register and, and get to know more. We, we offer lots of free articles, blog posts um, and uh, podcasts, and, and it's all free, vi free videos. And then there's also, of course, resources you can purchase and we try to keep those resources as, as affordable as possible. So whatever you can do, uh, be much appreciated. Pray for the success of it. Pray for the pilgrims and spread the word. Get it out far and wide. So, um, And praying for your ministry too, Alan. So thank, thank you, you for everything you guys do at yes. uh, Fiat Ministries. Right. Yeah, I just always say create, 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 create. And, um, you know, I'm a man of trade. And so, um, again, I'm a bit of an artisan and I like to build things. But um, Again, people, I always say you need to fill your mind with good thoughts and uh, put a lot in there. So I know for myself during Advent, I've done two sets of recordings. Um, I took this little booklet here, this Christmas inspiration booklet, and there's 45 meditations that Fulton Sheen gives during the Christmas season. So I've just uh, gone to my YouTube channel and you'll find me at Alan Smith. It's A-L-L-A-N, uh, two L's, two A's. And uh, you just type in Christmas inspirations and uh, you'll see there I've recorded 45 reflections. They're about three minutes each. Uh, there's a video form and there's an audio form. Uh, just stuff that people can uh, have during the Christmas season and uh, fill their minds with Fulton Sheen's meditations. Um, and then I've taken uh, the book that I wrote, uh, Lord Teach Us to Pray, and it... Um, I've kind of thought this is a great Advent project. And so uh, over 26 days, we go through this book cover to cover and we unpackage the Our Father, the Mass, uh, Stations of the Cross, the Holy Hour, Meditations on the Eucharist, the Blessed Virgin Mary, a little bit every day, just a few minutes. And it's amazing how you can read a book over four weeks uh, just in bite-sized pieces. And so I've done a video series on that also. So uh, you can journey with me uh, in Advent on developing the holy habit of prayer. And uh, again, you'll find me on YouTube. So just Google me, Alan Smith, or even just put in Lord Teach Us to Pray, Fulton Sheen, and the video series will come up. So um, it's amazing what a Google search will do. So uh, again, 
create, create, create. And uh, Charbel, I know you're creating lots of great content at Perusia Media, and we're doing our part here at Bishop Sheen today. So uh, everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm going to have our producer, Ken Kulhalski, bring up a picture of Fulton Sheen, and we'll pray for his intercession and pray for su the success of the pilgrimage. And so um, again, uh, well, let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, you alone grant us every blessing in heaven and on earth through the redemptive mission of your divine Son, Jesus Christ, and by the working of the Holy Spirit. If it be according to your will, glorify your servant, Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen, by granting the favor I now request through his prayerful intercession. And here we pray for the success of the Advent pilgrimage and the apostolic work of Perusia Media. And we make this prayer confidently through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Charbel, thank you for joining us. We'll come back in a couple of weeks and uh, find out how the pilgrimage is doing. I know that, uh, again, it's nice to check in with you every couple of weeks. And so I look forward to having you back on Hungry for More. And of course, we want to say hello to our partners uh, uh, it, again, EWTN Asia Pacific, uh, nice to be on their Facebook page and to have a worldwide audience. So we want to say hello and greetings to everyone there watching. And of course, to many of our regular viewers, thank you for tuning in to the Fiat Ministry Network and the Hungry for More show. And so everyone, until next time, may the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you kindly and bring you peace. Stay hungry, stay holy, and we'll see you next week on Hungry for More.